hello everyone welcome back to ev screen i hope you guys are doing great don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here and be sure to leave a like leave a comment and let us know what you want to see next on our channel today we have a sad news this week the chinese company database tianyan informed that ev maker Ledin filed for bankruptcy it raised the question of whether former chinese lsev low-speed electric vehicle manufacturers can compete in the upstream segment with standard electric vehicle makers leaden is the brand name and reading automobile group limited is the name of the company behind it it was founded in 2008 and in the golden age of lsev leaden was a sales champion considering 30 percent of the market between 2016 to 2018 leaden sold 647,000 lsevs in china in 2016 it was 150,000. in 2017 21,000, and in 2018 it was a record-breaking two Two hundred eighty-seven thousand. If it doesn't sound impressive enough, remember that it was seven years ago. In 2016, Tesla sold 76,000 vehicles globally. Leden's annual sales in 2018 exceeded 12 billion yuan. LSEV are crazy little electric moving things relying on lead acid cells or lithium batteries for power. These vehicles have feeble engines, low safety standards, a maximum speed that does not exceed 70 kilometers per hour. They were super popular in China, mainly in rural areas for older people without driving licenses. All that together made LSEV a perfect storm of traffic safety, and you better watch when some LSEV approached you. Many LSEV were copycats of famous cars so that you could have a 1000 US D Bugatti, Chiron, Mercedes-Benz G-Class, BMW Isetta, and even Volkswagen up flown. They weren't even classified as proper cars on the road. But in 2018, the Chinese government said to stop LSEVs and started strict regulations. The manufacturers had to start a transformation and so did Leten. They acquired automaker Yema Motors and for 1.45 billion yuan in 20, 2019, which helped them obtain a permit for producing both ICE and electric cars and transformation from a low-speed electric maker to a standard automaker began. In the same year, they started production of budget EVs under I-Series. There were three budget EVs called I-3, I-5, and I-9. They were priced from 50000 to 115,000 yuan but didn't sell well. The whole i-series sold just a few thousand units and was discontinued in 2020. But Leden wasn't ready to give up. In April 2021, they went all in and launched Leden Mango 29,800 to 54,900 yuan. The famous Pininfarina designed the car. And it was a success. The lovely hatchback sold 30,000 units in 2021. However, Leden's inexperience with maturity manufacture and technology led to some problems with the car. Moreover, the rising lithium prices and other raw materials in 2022 were the final nails in the coffin. And the company got into financial trouble. Leden entered 2023 with many trials and suits related to contract dispute. Sales and loans in further escalated when Leden was ordered to pay 40.93 million yuan in execution and filed the case 2023 Lu 0725 number one at Changwe Country Court in Shandong province to declare bankruptcy. In November 2022, Leten raised 3.2 billion yuan in a round financing, and now we see it wasn't enough to even for six months of operations. And it shows how difficult the EV game is. Leten official website is inactive now. Their last post was on official WeChat was on March 8. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. Yo.